Hello, No Man's Sky. It's your friend, The Traveler, signing in for another episode of Three Beautiful Planets. If you're new to the channel, you can expect to see three beautiful planets showcased on today's program. Just make sure you're in the correct galaxy, as today we are exploring galaxy number 170, otherwise known as Esdurannit. Each planet comes with a photo of the planet with a set of glyphs, and after the showcase ends, the same identical set of glyphs, just in case you miss the first set. Alright travelers, without further ado, let's check out this week's Three Beautiful Planets. Welcome to Nogtun, our number three beautiful paradise planet. Here you can expect no storms whatsoever, as the weather is listed as mellow. Also, this is a sentinel-free planet. There's a full amount of flora and fauna to discover, so get your scanners ready. And, if you love the color orange, definitely check this place out, as it comes with a crystal clear crisp blue sky filter, glowing fluorescent grass, and of course the complementary glowing flora. See you there sometime. Alright fellow travelers, welcome to planet Muko 83K7, our number two beautiful paradise planet this day. The weather here is listed as having light showers, although after spending much time here I didn't experience one rain shower whatsoever. This is a sentinel free planet as well, and you can find an abundant amount of flora and a fair amount of fauna for all your curiosity needs. If you love the color green, this planet is for you. As again, it comes with a crystal clear blue sky filter which coincidentally is my favorite type of filter besides a lilac or purple sky. And of course, glowing green grass with lovely glowing flora, perfect for any base builder or anyone really just wanting to relax at the end of their work week.
All right, travelers, welcome to Darbishi Teya, our number one beautiful flourishing planet. Here you can expect very good weather with no storms whatsoever, as it is listed as balmy. There are sentinels here with regular patrols, but don't pay any attention to them. Also, you can expect an abundant amount of flora to discover and a fair amount of fauna. If your favorite color is dark purple and maroon, this is the planet for you. Just as all the other planets today on our program, this place has a crystal clear blue sky filter with glowing grass and glowing flora. Definitely my favorite combination for one hell of a beautiful planet. Hope you guys enjoy these planets today, and I definitely hope to see you there soon. All right, travelers, that sums up today's episode of Three Beautiful Planets. I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's programming. And if you did, or found a planet or planets you'd love to visit, I'd love to know which one or ones in the comments. Also, if I earned your subscription today, I wanted to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart, and to all my current viewership for continuing to support my small but ever-growing channel as I wouldn't be able to make any of these videos I make if it weren't for all of you amazing people out there. Well, travelers, as always, I hope you have yourself a positive day. Know that you're valuable and that you matter. This is your friend the Traveler, signing out. Smash that like button, subscribe, and tickle the little bell icon, please.